We're going to try something different here. We're going to try a virtual cheese tasting. Hopefully it will help you enjoy the experience of learning an entirely different way of looking at how to taste. It's really the fundamentals of developing an educated palate. I don't know about you, but I always feel a little uncomfortable in wine tastings. Kind of like taking a test in school. I, I don't fully understand, though I understand, but I don't, as a person, I, it, it, it doesn't fully make sense to me everything that they do, and they throw them around a lot of terms that, you know, I'm afraid I'll look stupid if I don't know what they mean. And quite frankly, I don't know if I want to taste cigar box in my wine. Everyone is the owner of their own mouth and has an inborn and inalienable right to experience flavor in it. All those fancy terms that people use in tasting really are trying to describe a very real experience. They're not the experience themselves, they're people's interpretations of that experience. So as a chef, I was taught that you always go back to what's real. Staying away from the interpretations and getting to what really happened. And what happens with flavor happens in the mouth. And it happens in the form of sensations and locations. That's why I invented the geography of the mouth, as a way to help people get back to experiencing the real experience as it happens. And since most of them are the same, if we stick to describing what happens where and with what intensity, we can develop a way of communicating with each other which is real, which is down to earth, and will allow us to gain confidence in our own personal tasting experience. Later on, if you really want to be a cheese aficionado, you can then take your experience and see how what their terms, what they're trying to describe relates to